in what Steve Jobs says that to be simple is to be great and something should be so simple that everybody should be able to understand it. Yet it requires a genius to create something very simple. We write something called the Life School Messages that is released every Tuesday which has a readership of more than 250,000 people all across the globe. Secondly, we conduct different kinds of training programs. One is for adults, which we call as Let's Explore, which helps a person to discover the maximum out of their own life. We also train in the similar training program about how to build teamwork, because I think that is a very, very essential part of any human life. Then we have a few training programs for children. Kids who are in class 5, 6, 7, 8. Kids who are in 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. And college going students. When I do my training program, there is only a limited number of people who can be addressed through my training. Say for example, in a normal batch, we have about 30 people. When I write, my effort remains the same, but the number of people whom we can reach out to is much more. So every Tuesday when I write, there are about 2,50,000 subscribers. So my effort is of 2 hours and we can reach out to 2,50,000 people. And some of them forward it to their friends so the number still multiplies. But when I do my training programs, I can reach out to only 30-35 people at a time. That is why I have started writing and that is why writing is very exciting to me. Okay, the first book that we wrote was called uh, Keep Moving. I firmly believe that movement is life and I also believe whatever happens in life, we should keep moving. The second book that we wrote was called Win Before You Begin that I wrote with five more authors. So it was co-authored by five more people. I firmly believe half the victory happens over here before we start the game. All great players, all great teams win before the match actually begins. In a few days back, in a few days time, we will be releasing the third book that we have which is called Keep Moving Volume 2. This book will reach out to once again thousands of people. The first volume of Keep Moving, we had more than 8,000 copies in print. Second copy, second book I'm sure will do at least the same numbers. And in time to come, we will bring out a lot many more volumes of Keep Moving. My writings are all conversational style as if two friends are talking. So as I write, I actually want somebody who's reading it to feel as if the friend is just sharing something from his heart. Okay, most of the articles in these books are belonging to two categories. Category number one is insights. When I meet certain people, I get certain ideas about life. I understand certain things about life. And the second is about experiences of people, what they have gone through and what they have learned through their life. There wasn't an inspiration behind writing as such, but one of my students once told me that Every Monday it will be so nice if I can read some message from you and that will help me to drive myself positively in the entire week. So I started by writing one mail to him on a Monday because I thought if my mail can help somebody live an entire week well, why not do that? He forwarded it to his friends and soon I started request, receiving requests that can you add us in the mailing list. So what began as one mail which became a few tens in numbers Today has become 2 like 50,000. Read it whenever you feel like, but preferably read it with something to write on. Read it preferably with a pen in your hands. So that in case there is anything that you love, you should be able to immediately underline it. So you need not read this book from cover to cover, nor do you need to read it chapter to chapter as it is written. You can just open any page and we are very confident. Every page has something in it for you to learn and grow. One goal is to reach out to as many people as possible. So if there is somebody, let's say who stays in US or UK or Israel or Sri Lanka or Bangladesh and they want to learn about the wisdom of life school, the insights of life, then through this book we can reach out to them. Physically, we will not be able to reach to them. Secondly, we are in the process of setting up a great school about 100 kilometers from Pune. Whatever is the financial surplus that we get from this book will be utilized 
in creating that school. We will be promoting through social media sites. We have a beautiful fraternity of people in Pune. Some of them are as excited as we are in spreading out to the world through this book. Whatever happens, keep moving. Life will knock you down now and then. It always does. But get up and keep moving. For example, there is an article called House on Fire. And in that article we write about when your house is on fire, you will not say, uh, You are not going to say, You are not going to say, Let me consult my astrologer what will be the right time to get out of the bed. You are not going to check out with your Vastu expert whether you should get down from the left hand side of the bed or the right hand side of the bed. You are just going to get out of the bed and run out to save your life. Similarly in life when things are not going well, let's say there is a fire of some other kind in your life. What the hell are you waiting for? The astrologer, the friend, the Vastu and then getting out. So the moment you realize you need to move out, the moment you realize things are not okay, the moment you realize something is on fire, you should be able to take corrective actions. So as I wrote that article, it helped me to act on certain aspects of life which I was postponing for quite a long time. And writing that transformed me. Every article that we write is healing. Every article that we write, somewhere transforms us. So the book that we have and the cover that we have, Keep Moving, shows the road and the line which divides the road. The road is there because nobody wants to stay on the road. Anybody who comes to the road is supposed to keep moving. What do most people go to every day? The roads. So every time they are walking, every time they are diving, every time they are cycling, every time they are travelling, can they resonate with something that they have seen? in their life, in the book, and realize, let's keep moving. And on the cover, there is one slight gap called the yellow one. That is to show the individuality of every person. There are two ways. One, you can visit our website, www.lifeschool.co.in and there you will be able to find all the details. You can also visit the Facebook page or the Twitter page that we have and you know all the details. The other thing is write a mail to us, contact at lifeschool.co.in and we reply to every mail. So we will get in touch with you. Develop a passion for happiness. I think it requires courage for somebody to be happy. Only courageous people can be happy. So develop a huge passion for happiness. While the world says have passion for goals and achievements, I would say begin with a passion for happiness. When you know how to be happy, nobody in the world can stop you. Because you experience that you are the master to your life, not anybody else. See, if I want progress in my life, I need a lot of people's cooperation. I want finance, I need the banker's cooperation. I need to make more sales, I need the customer's cooperation. And all the scriptures in the world will tell me, for you to be happy, you don't need anybody's cooperation but yourself. So one proof you are in touch, control of your life, is in being happy. So every day, remind yourself that your first responsibility in life is to be happy. And then, towards your goals, keep moving.